look what came. So I obviously picked up the Pat McGrath The Mothership 10 Moonlit Seduction Palette. So for today's video, we are going to swatch the palette and we're gonna do an eyeshadow look. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you love makeup as much as I do, then you are in the right place. My name is Kara and I test new products so you don't have to. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you love seeing products tested before purchasing them. So Pat McGrath came out with another Mothership palette. This is the Mothership 10 Moonlit Seduction Palette. It goes for $128. Yes, $128. That's a lot of money. And you only get 10 shades. But Pat McGrath's formula eyeshadow formula is immaculate. It's amazing. I personally only own like two other Mothership palettes, so I'm not super familiar with Pat McGrath's formula, but I do know that her formula is immaculate. So here's what the packaging looks like. It's the typical Mothership palette packaging. I wish they would change it up a little bit because this lady is like on all of the Mothership packaging. So opening it up, you get the beautiful palette. And then here are the shades. Of course, my ring light is reflecting into the palette, but watch the shade, especially this top second one. Watch how it changes color. Oh Lord, I am just loving this. So like I had mentioned, the palette goes for $128. I think right now it's only exclusive to Pat McGrath's website. I'm not sure if you can get it at Sephora yet. Um, if you can, I will link it down below. It does have an 18 month shelf life and it's made in Italy. Inside the palette looks like you're getting three mattes. You're going to get some multi-metallics, astral shades, and duochromes. So instead of rambling, let's get some swatches. We have Skin Tense Glow, Rosewood Romantique, Platinum Dusk, VR Sextasy, Astral Gold Lust, Extreme Nocturne, Bronze Devotion, Plum Cabaret, Blitz Venus, Astral Lilac Aura. So here are the 10 shades. So obviously the shades swatched very well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and do one eye off camera. I will come back and we'll do the other eye together. All right, I'm back. I did a very simple everyday smoky eye look and I only used two brushes. So let me zoom you in and I'll show you how I did the look. Now I did prime my eyes with Rare Beauty Eye Primer. I do wanna say real quick that it seems like the Pat McGrath like mattes are always the same and these two rosy type tones are very, very similar. It would have been nice to have a different shade in there, but it is what it is. So the brush I'm using is a Sigma E25. I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is Rosewood Romantique. And I'm gonna start by just putting that in my crease, but on like the inner part of my crease. And what's really, awesome about these shades is they basically blend themselves out so you don't like need another shade to help blend it out I'm gonna go into Plum Cabernet, which is the other rosy tone. That's gonna go on my outer crease. Now this color has more of like purple in it where the other one has, it's like more mauve like pinky, I guess. They're definitely different tones, but blending them together, you're gonna generally get the same color. For $128, I would prefer that every shade is able to hold its own and not blend together to make one shade, if you understand what I mean. Using the same brush again, I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is Extreme Nocturne. I'm gonna put that shade on my outer lid up into my outer crease. And with these shades, I do start off with just like a little bit and then build up because it's easier to add more shadow than it is to take away shadow. 
This dark shade definitely has like a purple tone to it. So it absolutely goes with these other rosy type shades. It actually looks really good. Now I did go back into that Rosewood Romantique shade and I'm just gonna put a little bit more of that on the inner part of my crease. I'm also running Plum Cabernet or uh, under my lower lash line. And then putting Extreme Nocturne on my lower lash line, but just on like the outer corner of it. Now I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna use a refer number two brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Platinum Dusk and I'm gonna put that on the outer part of my lid. And then again, using the same brush, I'm gonna go into Bronze Devotion. That is gonna go on the rest of my lid. go into the astral gold lust and I'm gonna just kind of put that like on the top of that shimmer like that gold shade I just put down then I'm gonna take my finger into astral lilac aura and I'm putting that right on the inner part of my lid first brush and I'm just kind of blending over top of these glittery shades I'm also taking that astral gold lust and I'm putting that under my lash line but just on like the inner part of it I'm gonna take a Sigma LO4 brush. I'm gonna go into Skin Tense Glow. And I'm using that for my inner corner. And that's it. So let me go do lashes and liner and I'll be right back to show you the finished look and tell you my thoughts about the palette. All right, I'm back and here's the finished look. <laughs> came out really nicely. This palette is actually, I really like this palette. I have a hard time, the other Mothership palettes that I own, I have a hard time like coming up with a general eyeshadow look that'll look okay on the outside. I don't know why. I think maybe because majority of the palette is like shimmers, metallics, the astral shades. I think this palette, I, I really like this palette. I, I really want to play with it more. Um, the mattes blended out beautifully like you didn't need another shade to help blend out a shade in here like some eyeshadow palettes you need another shade you know what i mean this the the shade just blend out on their own and they look great 128 dollars do i think that this is worth it honestly not really Be only because of the two matte shades right here they're just so similar that you're gonna you're gonna basically get the same look using either one. You just need to maybe blend one shade out a little bit more than the other and it'll look the same. I think if you know one of these shades were taken away and there was like maybe a darker green or something or like a chocolate brown in there, I think this palette then would be 100% worth it. But I would wait for a sale to get this palette. I wouldn't spend the $128. I mean, don't get me wrong. The palette is beautiful. I love Pat McGrath products. But spending $128 on this, I don't think it's worth it. I think you should wait. That's all. <laughs> but other than that, I, I think it's a great palette. The formula is... 
the typical Pat McGrath formula, which like I said, I'm not very familiar with, but it seems the same in this palette from other palettes. So, but that's for, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I will link everything down in the description box below. I will link the palette as well as everything else that I was wearing on my face. Again, make sure you subscribe and I hope to see y'all again soon.